guys, I'm Ashley. I'm Kara. And today we're going to be debating about the better shoe, Allbirds and Rothy's. Make sure you leave your pick in the comments below to decide who wins. So Allbirds are definitely the most comfortable shoes I have ever owned, and I'm including Uggs from like the 90s. <laughs> I will say that they are made of merino wool, and you don't have to wear socks with them. You can if you choose to, but they are incredibly comfortable. They're made from actually everything recycled, which also is like a nice little eco touch. But as I mentioned, I can walk miles and miles in them, and they're perfect. And then once you walk those miles and miles, you can actually throw them into the washing machine and take them out and have a brand new pair essentially. Yeah, I would also say too that these, unlike your actual tennis shoe, don't have a ton of structure. And I don't say that in a negative way, but instead you can kind of like fold them and they'll hug your body versus, you know, be super stiff. So I think that, that also really helps with feeling really comfortable on the go. But you don't work out in them, right? I do not work out in them. This is strictly my athleisure mm, okay. outfit. Um, but I think that I've read online that you can potentially do like some light exercise. I think in someone's them. run a marathon in them actually. That fact person check, wasn't me. Fact check that, but maybe, yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Maybe one day. Okay, so these shoes uh, at the Rothy's, they come in a few different styles. So I'm wearing the sneaker style right now. And this platform, you know, is definitely really supportive. And they're this stretch knit. So they are super comfortable and they kind of mold to your feet. And then the insole um, is removable. And that's pretty thick, um, which is really nice. So... If you have um, some arch support issues, I've heard that these are really good for your feet. Okay, so I love the Rothy's because I can wear this with everything. I'm in like a work casual outfit right now, but I could also wear these headed to the gym with leggings, just hanging around, running some errands. Whereas I feel like with the Allbirds, as nice as they are, you can't like wear that to, you know, in a work casual setting or dressier setting. I'm at work. Right, but like with slacks, uh, jeans okay. for sure. Fair, fair, fair. Jeans for sure. But that's why I love these. So if you're flying and you're headed to a meeting, you're a business traveler, you just literally go straight to the boardroom from the plane. You know, they come in different prints too. So there's a leopard, a camo, a plaid. I really love those three. Um, so if you did want something that wasn't neutral, you could get um, a print too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so versatility. I will say that you probably can't wear these with everything. As Ashley said, I probably co couldn't go into a boardroom. Here at Smarter <laughs> Travel, you could wearing them. But elsewhere, you probably couldn't. So there are definitely tons of different styles, colors, fabric options that Allbirds comes out with. So there's the merino wool, which is sort of their like signature fabric, but there's also mesh, there's different styles, there's a loafer version. Um, yeah, it's some like of, a slip-on. Yes, yeah. it's a slip-on. Mm -hmm. um, so the whole taking it from the plane to the boardroom, you could potentially do. Yeah. yeah. Um, I opted for some of the pretty neutral colors just because I wanted to be able to wear them with a bunch. But as you can see, they come in really fun colors. They have some that have different soles. Um, that are like really bright colors. So there's a bunch of different types that you can choose from sort of depending on your mood. Um, so Allbirds are averaging about $115 a pair, which sure is probably a little bit more than you want to spend on some tennis shoes. Um, but I will say that I've had them for two years. I definitely have gotten my uh, monies out of them. <laughs> okay. Money's What's worth. Money's worth. I knew it was like on the tip of my tongue and I'd already money's started money. <laughs> So yeah, Allbirds actually average around $115 a pair. Um, so yes, I would say they're probably a bit of an investment for someone, but I think it's something that definitely is gonna pay you back in the long run. Yeah, my friend actually wore her pair hiking in the desert in Morocco. Oh wow. Um, and they held up pretty well. I mean, we had to wash them after, um, but my question is how long do they take to dry? So I typically, I mean, I would say if you leave them overnight, like yeah. hanging obviously, yeah. they don't take that long at all, especially depending on if you're inside and the heat's blasting, yeah. then yeah. really quick. So for the Rothy's price point, they actually are a little bit more expensive. Um, so they average about $150 per pair, and that's because the boot is definitely a higher price point, and that, again, is more fabric, and it's a little bit more sturdy. Um, so they are an investment as well, but I think because of their sustainability practices and the 
how environmentally conscious the brand is and the shoe. It's made from the recycled material, rubber, and this knit is a recycled plastic fabric. Um, so everything that the Allbirds are as well, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. Yes. No, I just wanted to make sure that we knew that. <laughs> They're actually, so um, it's really cool. They are doing the 3D knitting now, mm -hmm. so there's no waste when they're cutting the shoe oh, design, cool. which is cool. You are paying for part of those sustainability practices. My favorite feature, um, I've mentioned the sustainability and the versatility. I just really like how stretchy they are. Um, I think they're super stylish while still being really comfortable, and that's really hard to find in a pair of shoes that are made and great for travel. So I think that my reasons are definitely a lot more valid, <laughs> but one thing I can't emphasize enough is how comfortable these shoes are. They are truly like walking on clouds. I have put them like to the test and they're amazing. And the other thing that I don't think I've emphasized enough is that you can wear them without socks. And so I'm one of those people that I hate seeing higher socks on lower shoes. Mm, yeah. I don't know why, but I think that it looks so much neater and cleaner when you can't see a sock. And so I love that you can do that with Allbirds and that they'll absorb any sort of moisture with their technology and they just really feel like your foot is getting a hug. Pro tip, they also just came out with a sock that actually fits the shoes. So if you want to wear socks, I don't know why. <laughs> Some people do, especially traveling. When you're traveling for TSA, I get yeah, it, yeah, but yeah. you don't have to. Yeah, well, you also don't need to wear socks with these either. <laughs> For a shoe that's comfortable, versatile, stylish, and environmentally friendly, pick Rothy's. So if you're someone who's in the know, you definitely need to get Allbirds. A, you don't see them everywhere. B, they're made of the softest material. C, they're totally an investment you will never regret. You can throw them in the wash whenever you need them, and they come in so many different colors. Thanks so much for watching the first installment of Face Off. Make sure to comment who you think won this debate, and as always, like the video and subscribe to Smarter Travel. Also, if there are any other products that you think we should debate about, think about suitcases, mm -hmm. travel pillows, or even like backpacks, definitely let us know and let's comment below. <laughs>